coming into this ball game, you knew it was going to be a high scoring affair. And early on, Texas Tech did exactly what they game planned to do. Jump on the Mountaineers early as they took a 21 to 10 lead into halftime behind two touchdowns by rookie wide receiver Devin Lauderdale. However, in the second half, quarterback Clint Trickett engineered the comeback for the Mountaineers as they scored 27 points en route to the victory on a 55-yard field goal for the win, 37 to 34 over Texas Tech here at Jones AT&T Stadium. We battled our butts off and um, yeah, you know, it should have ended like that, but we had plenty of chances to make it like that. You know, we went by two touchdowns, I went down to score, and then we kind of stalled and they scored again, so it's all the credit in the world to them, but you know, we had plenty of chances for it not to come down to that. I mean, that's on us as a coaching staff. We didn't coach very well when we had to, and they didn't play very well when they had to. Uh, you you got to give them credit. They got a senior quarterback that stepped up, made plays, and uh, found a way to win the game. We didn't. You know, they, they fought until the last play. Yeah, we gave up some big plays at the end. You know, still no excuses on that, but I, I couldn't be more proud of this defense. Um, I'll go to war with those guys any day of the week. This is, you know, no one believes us, believes in this team besides that guy, those guys in that room, and uh, we'll respond next week against Kansas. You know, it's a you know, great opportunity and a great platform to play at home and really try to get our first win in the Big 12 Conference and go from there. Texas Tech will regroup and now prepare for homecoming week next week as the Kansas Jayhawks come to Lubbock for a 2.30 p.m. kickoff on Fox Sports Network. For Texas Tech TV, I'm Courtney Davis.